shorten my knife. So welcome back everybody, Mike here. It's Friday morning and I uh, actually took the day off of work. Not to relax, but to uh, get some work done around the property. And first thing this morning, I uh, built that little target stand. It's kind of a cheapo, but less than $14. All you need is three eight foot two by fours. Cut six pieces, four feet long. Build yourself a little rack, you know, target stand. I don't like spending a lot of time or money on those because uh, they're just gonna get shot up anyways. So uh, I got that done, and then I came down here. If you remember, I think my last video, or maybe the one before, I did this little, fix this area up down here so the water would drain down here below the pond. And I wasn't gonna seed and mulch where the actual trail is, because I run through here so often, but I figured an extra couple minutes, maybe something will grow there. But it's been pretty dry here lately, and uh, so I don't think they're calling for rain for five or six days. So I may come down here Sunday, I got a pump, and the pond's right there, so I got plenty of water and get this growing. But it's a great time of year to grow grass for about another month, and then that's it. Uh, but anyway, did you ever see one of these? A landscape rake. I think this is the 30-inch one. And I have a four-footer that I retired when I was about 40. These things will kill you. But if you have, like, processed topsoil and you're really trying to rake it out, get a nice uh, finish, these are real nice. And it picks up all the little rocks and sticks as well but they're nice and wide. I mean, you should really put this thing on like a little subcompact tractor, like a BX or something. This thing will give you a workout. But anyway, next up, I have to go back up to the house and that road that I have going down to where I uh, stack on my firewood, it's a little rutted up. Got to do some mowing and then I uh, have to finish a little landscaping project for my mother. And then I actually have a uh, machine coming. Again, a rental machine. This is a track skid loader. I got it from Bobcat of Pittsburgh. I didn't even plan on doing this until last night. But my uh, neighbor has a big, he built a really nice garage. And I got a grade up all around it. And there's nothing there that I couldn't do with my tractor. But it would take a lot longer. So, you know, he'll pay me to do the work. So, you know, it might take me eight or nine hours with the tractor. And where it's going to take me three or four with the skid loader or less. So he's just paying the rental and then I'll use it the rest of the weekend. So it's kind of a, a good deal. And I'm gonna use it up there at the old apple orchard where I was ripping those roots out the other day. I'll have that thing graded up in no time with this. Uh, I think it's like an 80 horsepower Bobcat track loader. And, uh, but that's what I got going on. And uh, so I'm gonna go do some mowing, a little bit more box scraping, and a little landscape project. And by the time I'm done with all that, the skid loader ought to be here this afternoon. So I will see you in a bit.
So I'm getting a really good jump on the weekend here, getting a bunch of stuff done. It's only 12.30 right now. I think I might actually take my wife out to lunch and then uh, come back and go down to my mom's place and take care of her landscaping project. And then over to the neighbors tonight with the skid loader. They just brought that track loader a little bit ago. And uh, I'll be ready to go. But anyway, I was trying to think if there's any questions. Somebody asked me, are you that cedar that I used? I put a link before. That's an Earthway cedar. I'll put that link again in the description. Someone sent me a message about that. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, like our Facebook page. And uh, I appreciate all the support so far. It's really cool. By knocking on, I don't know, 57, 5,800 subscribers now. Which is pretty cool for the amount of time that we've been doing this. But uh, that's it. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.